I want to share a variety of items with you guys and I'm going to start out with some skincare products. So I have been testing out a bunch of different facial moisturizers. I have very dry skin and right now it's a bit worse than normal, which is hard to believe that it could be more dry than normal, but I've been testing out a retinol cream and I'm gonna be using this up. This is the Paula's Choice one. And I really like this product. It's quite strong for anybody who's curious. I personally find that this one is just as strong as this tretinoin prescription I have from agency skincare and this one is 0.012% so this is just my personal experience that kind of had the same effect on my skin I like this formula better but I think it might be cheaper to go with something like Curology or agency to get an actual prescription and if you don't know about this you might want to check out their website they have deals all the time also and gosh I just I can't remember exactly what the price is per month or per order, but I think that it's cheaper than this one. I'm just gonna use this up and try to get my skin acclimated if it's even possible, because I've never really had success with that. Personally, I've been looking for a face moisturizer that has really, really good ingredients. I've gotten kind of spoiled because I've been able to test out a bunch of different products, and now I kind of want products that have these really nice ingredients, but it's very costly. So I'm gonna talk about some of these higher end expensive products right now. One that I tried recently was by this brand, Josie Moran, and it was their Argan Oil Face Cream. It was a beautiful product. It felt amazing on my skin. It was it just had really, really nice, really good pure ingredients as well. If that's important to you, then you might wanna check out this brand. Right here is just a, a body lotion. It says whipped Argan Oil. This is also a beautiful product. I love it. I just have it as like a, hand cream basically. This is the most expensive one that I've ever tried for a day cream and I mean I thought $40 was like crazy expensive and now we're getting up to like 90 something dollars. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Dewy Deep Cream. It's a vitamin C and lactic acid cream for your face and to me the texture and everything it feels like a gel moisturizer but so unbelievably ultra hydrating. It feels incredible on my skin so i absolutely love it i used up every little drop of it it's all gone and i have not repurchased but i think i'm going to i know that's insane i have never spent that much on a product before i'm a part of this other website you guys i don't want to bore anybody with it but uh, they send me products sometimes to test out and then to do like written reviews of them so that's why i've actually been able to try this one and several other products that i've tried this other one by dennis gross Otherwise, I don't generally think to spend that much. It's kind of risky. Like a lot of products don't stand up to the hype and a lot of them aren't worth the cost. But unfortunately, I don't know if it should be an unfortunate thing, but to me, this one is like worth it. It's worth it. I don't know. I haven't had any like dramatically amazing results. My skin isn't resurfaced or anything or just completely fixed from this, but I just really love the level of hydration and moisture. It kind of feels like my skin is like all plumped up and like heavily moisturized. It feels amazing. So I'm not sure what else to do. I've tried a bunch of different face creams lately and I just want to repurchase this. So there are coupons on their main website. You can sign up and get a coupon and they have deals all the time. So I'm just gonna check what they have this weekend and probably finally buy it. Now, besides that, I have also, I've used a Dennis Gross product years ago, and some of you may have used it. Um, they sell peeling pads, which are glycolic acid or a combination of acids, I can't really remember, but it is one of the very first peeling products that I used years and years and years ago when I, the very first time that I used a, a peel in my life. It was probably like the second one. I bought one from a cheap generic thing from like CVS. And then after that, I tried the Dennis Gross ones, those changed my life, my skincare life, really changed the game for me and got me hooked on using acids in my skincare. Now this other product right here is the Dr. Dennis Gross Advanced Retinol Plus Ferulic Texture Renewal Serum. It's also very pricey, you guys, and it's really good. I really, really love how my skin feels after I use this. So at night, I tend to use this. I wash my face and use a toner and then apply this. And I just feel like it actually does what it says by helping with the skin texture and my skin feels really smooth. It has Bakuchiol in it, which is sort of like a retinol alternative, a natural alternative. And I have had success with that before. It's, I think that's probably what is 
making my skin feel so soft and smooth. And I know that Good Molecules sells Bakuchiol oil by itself and it used to leave my face feeling amazing. So I'll probably just go buy that again instead of maybe I won't repurchase this, but I really, really love how my skin feels when I'm using this. So I just wanna share that with you guys. If you're looking for a product for your lips, if you need some hydration or if you're kind of like a chapstick addict or whatever you wanna call it, most of us aren't really using chapstick. I mean, some people are. These are my favorites and I've tested out tons and tons of different lip sleeping masks. I don't know why they're called lip sleeping masks because this isn't something that I just wear at night and that's it. I wear them all the time. I actually have one other favorite, which I should go get. So I have three products that I love. This is Famous, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. The only thing I don't like about this, it's very slippery, it's very slick. It's almost like wearing a lip gloss. That's fine, it's nice and everything, but it doesn't really stay on your lips as well if you were to wear it overnight and try to have like an actual treatment when you wake up and your lips are feeling so much better. I don't really have that from this. It would, I'd probably wipe it off really quickly. I don't like that this is like scented or flavored but I am used to it, so it's fine. I still love that product. Now, recently I started using the Lip Sleep Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask. That's an interesting name. Here from Kazarex, and this one is really nice also. I love the texture and the feel of it on my lips. It's a, it's a lot thicker, it's different. I think there's castor oil in it, which gives it a really nice, smooth and wonderful texture. The other one that I absolutely love is the Paula's Choice lip product and it has more basic ingredients. It almost looks like a beeswax type product. I used to make skincare products and lip products and I was thinking the first time I opened it, like I could make that myself. As you can tell, it's a base of beeswax or something similar. That one has been one of my favorites and that one I do use at night and I wake up and I can still feel it on my lips and my lips feel pretty amazing um, after using it. That one's a little bit more gritty and not as nice of a texture as these two but I keep it out there. So I have them like all over my house. For years, I have been spending about 30 plus dollars. This, <laughs> I don't know why I have this cap on here. This is for a hairspray bottle. I've been spending about $30 on this product right here. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat UV Protector Primer Spray. I love this stuff. To me, it's like a detangling spray that gets rid of split ends and leaves my hair really smooth and so much better looking and it's not heavy. I can go kind of crazy spraying it all over and it never leaves my hair greasy. I have loved this product for so long and I've repurchased it so many times, but I'm so happy that I found an alternative that is way, 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 way cheaper and has absolutely beautiful, wonderful ingredients and possibly, I don't wanna say it's like better ingredients, but just as good, if not better, just different. So this is the Maui Moisture Hair Styling Frizz-Free Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Mist. The bottle size is close to being the same. Uh, this is 8.5 ounces, this is eight ounces. I think this is about six to seven dollars. I'll put the price on the screen. This is a great brand, you guys. Not just for people who have curly hair, because a lot of, it says right here, for dry damaged curls. Doesn't matter if you have curly hair, this product is wonderful. The first ingredient is actually aloe. And then after that, you have a bunch of wonderfully moisturizing ingredients and a bunch of different oils, macadamia seed oil, coconut oil, and several others. This has like a way, a really, really large ingredient list that has way more different types of oils, but it just isn't necessary to have all of those if this product works just as well and gives me the same results, if not better. So I'm in love with this product, highly recommend it. And after trying this, I wanna go back and try some of their other products. I have used some of their conditioners and shampoos in the past and I did like them, but for some reason I kind of moved on to other ones. So I'm gonna purchase some and try them out. But definitely, if this is a product that you love, try this one instead if you'd like to save a little a lot of money actually. The next hair product I'd like to mention is this spray bottle right here. I've had this for a very long time. It sprays a very, very fine mist and I use this when I need to re-wet or dampen my hair. And I'll put links to everything down below, everything that I'm talking about, in case you're interested in checking out the products. Now recently I decided to purchase these products by Tresemme. I don't remember using Tresemme products ever, like for years and years and years. I bought a hair gel once and it didn't work well and I did not like it, I had to like throw it out. 
but these products really surprised me and worked have worked so well my problem with hair products is i can use them for a while and have amazing results at first and then it just kind of stops i don't know what happens if anybody knows what that is please let me know i don't understand so i i switch things out a lot so this is the keratin smooth conditioner and this one is the keratin smooth shampoo and what does it say zero percent there's no parabens dyes mineral oil and same i think same for this one or definitely for this one okay so for these products i've been using them lately and uh, it says there's keratin in it which for some people is great some people have issues with using too um too many proteins and keratins and stuff like that but for me my hair loves this stuff and I ended up purchasing some of their other shampoo and conditioners to test it out to see how well they worked. When I use this, it completely, either one, even the shampoo totally detangles my hair while also getting it really nice and clean. And this is super ultra hydrating. It feels amazing. It just really helps me because otherwise my hair can be quite snarly. I'm just really enjoying these products and they smell amazing also. I'm not usually into fragrance, but for these ones yeah i really really like how they smell now these are fake tanner products and i am not one to normally do something like this you can see i'm pretty pale and that's fine it doesn't matter but i did i did want to like just play around and try something different so i got this these two products are supposed to be like more natural and have better ingredients than some of these other products that are out there whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I think that it is true based on some stuff. I mean, no matter what you do, if you're gonna be using a product like this, especially on your body, the stuff is going to get absorbed into your body through your skin, which is your largest organ. So it's inevitable. So for me, I don't do this often. I mean, yeah, I just don't. But once in a while, especially for my face, I use this one for my face. This is Isle of Paradise. These are the self tanning drops in medium. I'm gonna show you a before and after photo on the screen so you can see how pale I looked versus after using this. Like I really, really like the natural color that it gives me. I don't know why I look so pale in that photo. Maybe I was kind of washed out by the lighting. Maybe I overdid the lighting. Cause I don't know. I don't think I'm that white. I think this is more what my skin looks like right now, what you're seeing in this video. So for some reason I looked extra, extra deathly pale in that before photo. But anyway, this product works great. The only problem with it is that it kind of lacks clear, totally lacks clear instructions. So you kind of have to just figure out what what to do. So you're supposed to use a couple of drops and mix it with some face cream that you're going to use. You're supposed to be able to use this on your body too, but I wouldn't even bother personally. It doesn't work well enough for me to use it on my body. I just would have to use up like the whole bottle and I don't think that's a good idea. So I just use sometimes like a half a dropper full, which sounds like a lot, maybe less sometimes with some face cream and then apply it to my face and I'm really careful around the hairline to just really rub it in and add some other lotion by itself and rub that in and I bring it down onto my neck and stuff too and I can never see like where it stops it looks so natural and gives me just some nice color and like I said this is in medium the light one was too light this is the one if I want to have a fake tan on my body for some reason if I care that much which Normally I don't, but sometimes you're going somewhere or just for whatever reason. Sometimes you want to be a little tan, a little sun-kissed. This is the best one. This isn't the best one. This is the only one I've ever used. The best one. This is the only one I've ever used. This is in fair to medium. It really, really does work. I don't have a before and after photo to insert here. Okay, so next I want to share with you guys some things that I've been watching lately. Some of my favorite entertainment, some shows I've been watching. So one thing that I've been watching recently has been on Hulu. I am not normally a subscriber to Hulu, but I have been watching Escaping Polygamy. I'm probably way behind the times in watching this because I'm not sure when it got onto Hulu and maybe you guys have seen this already like years ago. After watching the first episode, I was like, Google, is this real? Like, are, is this fake? Are these people actors? What's going on here? But then sure enough like within a few episodes i'm completely hooked it's really really crazy the stuff that you will discover on that show about the flds and uh these people and their stories it was super 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 fascinating so i've been watching that i also watched a documentary about jeffrey dahmer 
I'm guessing many of you probably have also because he's been very, very popular as of recently. And I just want to share a quick little story with you guys really quickly. So I watched one of the documentaries about him. I didn't watch it on Netflix. I'm not sure about that one. I think I've had enough of my fill of catching up on the whole Jeffrey Dahmer story, so I don't really need to watch it on there. I think I watched a documentary about him on Peacock and then some videos on YouTube. But basically, I wanted to tell you guys, as you know, I'm from Wisconsin. My son was born in West Dallas, and that was one of the cities where he lived and his grandma lived there. The interesting thing I want to share with you guys is I was eight or nine, I was probably nine for sure, when Jeffrey Dahmer was caught. And I was living in a really crappy apartment in West Dallas. And all of these kids that I knew, everybody was joking or making like really crude jokes about things that he did, which is horrible. It's really bad, okay? But you know, we we're just kids trying to cope with this weird time period that we were living in. But I remember hearing these jokes all the time. That was the thing on the playground all the time. And then now, interestingly, that had an impact on me, this thing that happened with Dahmer. Like I already had a very dysfunctional, very, very, um, very chaotic, very dysfunctional upbringing. And then on top of that, I was living in one of the worst places I've ever lived in when I was nine in these terrible apartments. Um, yeah, we were pretty broke. And <laughs> okay, I got to share this. My cousin told me that we were so poor when I lived there that... I couldn't afford Kool-Aid, which I remember was 10 cents for a Kool-Aid pack. She said, you were so poor that you would sell little Dixie cups of water to people. I'm like, oh my gosh, at least I was a little entrepreneur. I was doing my best with what I had, which apparently was just water. Now, so this was a weird time period in my life, very, very much chaotic. And then on top of my own personal life, home trauma, this stuff happened with Dahmer and it really scared me. <laughs> like it really, really freaked me out and changed my perspective on life. And then years and years later, I was like a teenager. I can't remember exactly how old I was. I might've been 14. And I, my mom took me to a hospital because she was going to an AA meeting and I was sitting in the cafeteria. It was a nurse's lounge actually. For some reason, she brought me in there. And I, like I said, I was really, we were still, financially broke. I remember going in there and taking granola bars and putting them in my backpack. Like, I'm sorry, God, that I pretty much was like stealing like four of them, I remember, and some milks and stuff. But the craziest thing was I was sitting there very bored, just sitting there. There's a TV and this guy sat down and he was dressed kind of nice. And for some reason we were chatting. I like talking to people. And he ended up telling me that he was the psychotherapist of the guy who murdered Dahmer in jail. He was the therapist of that guy. So it always stayed with me and stuck in my mind like, oh my gosh, so this is a small world. This is crazy. So I chatted with him for maybe like an hour or something as I was, as I was waiting for my mom. And it's just something that I've never forgotten. So since all this stuff is going on about Dahmer right now, I just felt like sharing that with you guys. It's a weird world that we live in. Okay, I'm not really sure how to segue off of that topic because it's kind of a very strange topic, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna share one last item that I have as a favorite right now, and this is super different, but it's right here. I know not everybody is going to love this, but I do. This is an animal hide, it's a sheep skin, and I got this off of Etsy. This one was dyed, so it really does actually have an effect on the fur and how soft it is. But you know what? Like, I love this. My cats love it. I like having it here because it actually protects my chair, my computer chair from my cats, and they can sit up here. But I just love this. Super, super cozy. I have some, I have two, I went through a phase. So I have two other ones that are also beautiful, and the fur is even more beautiful on the other ones. Those other ones were never dyed. I think those were Irish sheepskins. I'll link to it down below as well in case you're interested. In, besides this one, um, the shop where I got this one, I think they may have stopped selling it in this color and they sell it in like a gray, which is also really cool looking. So I just want to share that. I like things that are super, super soft. And so it's kind of like my obsession. So this is just 
one of those things. I really love it. And I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions or any products that you want me to try out, just let me know. Thanks so much and take care.